Yo, yo, what are you to It's me, Papa G Pump, what's sir, Bonnie. Today I'm gonna show you guys my updated biggest PS4 collection, and this is number two. So every single year I will be doing basically my updated PS4 collection for you guys and also my Xbox One collection as well. So if you guys are ready for this video, please make sure to like this video and um let's get this going. So here we do have my updated PS4 collection, which is over 150 games. Wow, that's a lot of freaking games. So today, I'm going to show you guys all the games that I picked up from 2016, because there's a lot of games that I picked up, like Titanfall 2, FIFA 17, No Man's Sky, and many more. So if you guys are ready for this video, please make sure to like this video, and also make sure to leave a comment down below letting me know your PS4 collection. So, no further ado, let's get this going. So first off, I'm gonna start with the Steelbook section, then to the Collector's Edition as well. So here we go. First off, let me drink some coffee. Mmm, that is delicious. So make sure to sit back, relax, eat some popcorn, and check out this video, and like this video as well. So here we go. So the first game, of course, Black Ops 3, I absolutely love this game. As you can see, this is a Steelbook Edition. Boom, nice right there. Steelbook, Black Ops 3. Destiny, Far Cry Primal, and Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, as you can see right there in front of me. So there you go, that is my Steelbook section. And here we do have my Collector's Edition. So first off, of course, I got the Sniper Elite 3. There you go on the PlayStation 4 Collector's Edition. Also, I have Call of Duty Ghosts. Damn, man. This game, pretty old now. <laughs> I also have my Collector's Edition for Fallout 4. This is the Pit Boy Edition for the PlayStation 4. Absolutely love the game. There you go, that is my Collector's Edition for that. I also have Destiny, the Ghost Edition. Now, this thing right here is actually really rare. If you want it, you can probably find it on eBay, but they're setting it probably for like 500 bucks, 600 bucks, or whoever knows how much money they're setting it for. But this thing right here is actually really rare. Absolutely love it. Um, it's pretty awesome. So there you go. That is Destiny, the Ghost Edition. Now the last collector's edition that I picked up for 2016 is this. Let me show you guys. Which is the Black Ops 3 mini fridge as you can see right there in front of you. Absolutely love this thing. Have it in my room. I also have a couple of things inside. Let me actually show you guys. Hold up. I don't want to drop anything. I don't want to drop my coffee. As you can see a couple of sodas. I also have the Final Fantasy uh, Jones soda. Final Fantasy 15 which is a cream soda so you guys might be seeing a first taste on that. I also have some soda from, uh, what is it, Mountain Dew, a new flavor, and some other things as well. But this mini fridge right here is absolutely amazing. One of the best collector's edition that I ever had in my house, in my, actually, room, I guess you could say. Uh, Black Ops 3 mini fridge, absolutely amazing. If you guys did pick one up, I'm pretty sure you guys love it as well. But uh, there you go, that's basically all my collector's editions. So now let's get into the game. So the first game, of course, Dragon Ball Xenoverse. This is number two, right? No, this is the first one. There you go, Dragon Ball Xenoverse. Tony Hawk Pro Skater 5, absolutely trash. I hate this game so much. Just waste the money. <laughs> if you guys have 10 bucks, probably pick it up. 60 bucks, hell no. 40 bucks, hell no. 30, hell no. 10 bucks. <laughs> NHL 16, still sealed, as you can see, never even opened it. Damn, man, just a waste of money right there. Deadpool, absolutely love this game on the PlayStation 4. Evolve, pretty good game. Dark Souls 3, A1 edition. The Witcher, Wild Hunt, pretty awesome. FIFA 16, I love FIFA games. The Evil Within, one of the most underrated games, but absolutely love this game. If you guys don't have this game on your collection, pick it up. Resident Evil 5 just came out remastered on the PlayStation 4, still sealed. Lego the Movie video game. I love Lego games. Dragon Age Inquisition, awesome game, awesome RPG. Dark Souls 2, what the hell, I have two? What? I have two copies of Dark Souls 2? No, 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 this is Dark Souls 2, right? The other one was Dark Souls 3. Man, I'm confused now. <laughs> Final Fantasy Type-0 HD, a pretty good game, but I absolutely love Final Fantasy 15. I think it's the best. 
HD was uh, Type 0 HD was okay. I really didn't, you know, feel it. I guess you can say um, I wasn't that, you know, interested in the story mode. But uh, Final Fantasy 15, pretty good. I love that game. Transformers: Rise of the Dark Moon, fucking trash. <laughs> the Amazing Spider-Man 2, trash. <laughs> FIFA 15, love this game, I love FIFA games. Bloodborne, don't even get me started with that game, I hate that game. It's an amazing game, but I just didn't like it. Assassin's Creed Unity, and Mortal Kombat X. There you go, love Mortal Kombat. Hopefully they come out with a new one, probably in two years they're probably gonna come out with a new one. So that's basically the second pile, we got a bunch of piles, but you guys probably can see can't see every single pile, but man, there's a lot of freaking games. Alright, so let's move on. Moving on to the next pile. Borderlands, the Handsome Collection. Awesome game. Remastered. FIFA 14. Damn, throwback right there. Lego Jurassic Park. I love Lego games. Call of Duty Ghosts. I forgot to show you guys this on my um, Steelbook section. I guess I forgot. Sorry. <laughs> uh, Tomb Raider, Definitive Edition. The Crew, trash. Battlefield Hardline, not trash. Hell no, I love Battlefield. <laughs> MLB 14 The Show, trash. NBA 2K15, love this game. NBA Live, just went out of business for that game. <laughs> Dying Light, absolutely amazing game. Hopefully they do a second one, uh, which I absolutely love the first one. Uh, so there you go, that is that pile. Let me actually get this off of here because, damn man, so many games I have. Need for Speed Rivals, pretty good game. The Order 1886, it's 1886, yes. This game was actually pretty good. I absolutely love the story mode. I know it was short, but it was, uh, it just kept me going. It, it, it wasn't a boring game. It wasn't like, damn man, when is this thing gonna end? It was actually pretty action packed, which is awesome. I love those kind of games like Call of Duty Story Mode which is uh, pretty good. They're actually known for their like, big explosions, things like that. But the Order 86 is actually pretty good. absolutely love it. If you guys don't have it, you should definitely get it. I think it's like 10 bucks now, so make sure to pick it up. Pro Evolution 2016 can beat FIFA. FIFA's the best, but it's a pretty good game. God of War Remastered, definitely a must on your collection. WWE 2K16, pretty good. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Uh, what is this? Uh, Metal Gear Solid The Phantom Pain. Now, I did play about 20, nah, it was about 20 hours. I would say about 10 hours. It got too repetitive, the same missions over and over, the same locations, and I just got tired of it. And I was like, you know what? No more Metal Gear for me. That's it for me. Metal Gear Solid, uh, this is the Ground Zeroes, basically like a demo. Uh, when it first came out, it was 30 bucks, which is uh, 30 bucks for 15 minutes of gameplay. Fuck no. Hell no, man. I spent 30 bucks on this game for nothing. Beef? Not trash. It was actually, no, that was okay. NBA 2K14? Damn, man. Another throwback. Ain't NHL 15 as well. Alright, so let's keep going because I still have a lot of games to show you guys. Battlefield 4. Amazing game. Uncharted, the Nathan Drake collection. Oh my god. Nathan Drake? He's the best, man. Uh, Minecraft Story Mode. Haven't played it so much, it's just about like an hour. Eh, it's okay. Uh, Saints Row, Reelected, and Get Out of Hell. Funny as hell. Mad Max, didn't really get into it. I think I played about five or six hours and then I was like bored of it. Uh, the Wolf Among Us, there you go. Pretty awesome game. The Walking Dead, season two. There you go, season two. Batman Arkham Knight, amazing 10 out of 10. Definitely get it in your collection. Far Cry 4, amazing game as well. I absolutely love the story mode. I think I like Far Cry 4 better than Far Cry Primal. Uh, Payday 2, Crime Raid Edition for the PS4. Sniper Elite 3, came with the collection edition, of course. WWE 2K15, throwback. Knack, pretty good exclusive game on the PS4. They're coming out with the second part. Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag, didn't like this game whatsoever, I think it was boring. Uh, Marvel, Lego Marvel Super Heroes, pretty uh, fun game. Pro Evolution 2015, there you go. Lords of the Fallen, eh, trash. NBA Live 14, trash. Watch Dogs, pretty good game. Killzone Shadowfall, eh, 
Campaign was good, multiplayer, didn't like it. Alright, so here we go. Moving on to the next. We got FIFA 17. I absolutely love this game. Titanfall 2, really, really good game. I don't think a lot of people picked it up because uh, it came out too close to other big games. But uh, Titanfall 2, awesome, awesome game. The Last Guardian is actually really, really good. You guys don't have any collection to pick it up. Final Fantasy 15, awesome, awesome Final Fantasy game. I never um, was into that series, but now I, I'm definitely interested. I love the story mode of Final Fantasy 15, and um, yeah, hopefully the next game comes out soon because I really want a new one already, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna take a while. Uh, we got Overwatch. Wow, this game amazed me as soon as it came out. I was blown away. It's actually really fun. There's new content every time and it's free. You don't have to pay anything, nothing like that, which is awesome. Assassin's Creed, the Ezio collection. If you guys never played uh, Assassin's Creed uh, 2, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, and Assassin's Creed Revelations, you guys should definitely pick it up for PS4. Uh, the visuals, the graphics are actually pretty good. I like them. Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, and this is the Legacy Edition. The Legacy Pro Edition, which is exclusive on GameStop, which comes with the like, which comes with the Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered, and some other things as well. WWE 2K17, I absolutely love this game. One of the best wrestling games of all time. Uncharted 4 Amongst Thieves, uh, Amongst Thieves, no, A Thieves End. What the hell am I talking about? <laughs> a Thieves End, this game, absolutely awesome. If you guys don't have it, you guys should definitely pick it up. Uh, game of the year for me for 2016, hands down. Star Wars Battlefront, amazing game, but the only downfall, no story mode. What? 60 bucks for a multiplayer game? Come on, EA. Make sure next Star Wars Battlefront campaign. Just make it like Battlefield 1. That was an awesome, awesome campaign. Need for Speed. There you go. And let's keep going. Man, so many games. Grand Theft Auto 5. Awesome, awesome. First person. Pers <laughs> first person. Amazing. Until Dawn. Really good on the game. Metro Redux. There you go. For PS4. Infamous Second Son. Yo, we need a new Infamous game, definitely. Alien Isolation, really underrated game, but um, one of the best games out there. Shadow of Mordor, pretty good game as well. Now the next game that I'm gonna show you guys, I actually got it imported from the UK, and this is the collection for Heavy Rain, and also Beyond Two Souls for the PlayStation 4, as you can see right there. Still sealed, I still haven't opened, if you guys haven't seen the box of this, let me know in the comment section down below. Just Cause 3, eh, wasn't feeling that. Home from the Revolution, trash. Mighty Number no. 9 was okay. Uh, this Honor Definitive Edition, so if you guys never played this on the PS3, you can play it now on the PS4 in HD and 1080p, of course. So, um, damn, man, so many games, and we still have three more piles to go. <laughs> All right, so let's keep going. No Man's Sky for the PlayStation 4. Now, this game was a huge letdown. Uh, for me, it was kind of boring, so I didn't really like it. So, I will say, trash. If you guys have 20 bucks, I will say pick it up. 30 bucks, uh, probably not. 40 or 60, hell no. 20 bucks, yeah, 30 and more, nope. The Division was actually a really awesome game, fun game as well, so if you guys do have a lot of friends on your PlayStation 4, you should definitely pick that game up. Fallout 4, absolutely amazing, I love the game. Uh, Watch Dogs 2, still haven't beaten it, but um, so far, it's really good and fun, I actually like it. Uh, there you go, Watch Dogs 2. Dishonored 2, I still haven't started this game, but I will soon. I do have a lot of games to go through. I still have to beat quite a few. <laughs> Alright, The Last of Us Remastered, amazing, perfect, 10 out of 10. Make sure to pick it up. Story mode and multiplayer is fun as hell. Skyrim Special Edition, awesome game, special with mods. Awesome. Rise of the Tomb Raider for the PlayStation 4. Finally, it's out on the PS4. Amazing game. Battlefield 1, oh my god, so much fun with this game. If you guys don't have it, pick it up as soon as possible, man. This game kills Call of Duty any day now. Rainbow Six Siege, oh my god. If you guys like tactical games and um, really fun games, pick it up. Especially if you have teammates with mics. Is awesome. NHL 17, like I said, I'm not a hockey fan, but I like playing games. I don't know why. 
Mafia 3, amazing game, I absolutely love it. It was just too repetitive doing the same thing over and over, basically grinding so much. It was just too repetitive. But our overall sword model was actually pretty good. NBA 2K16, The Walking Dead, this is uh, season one. Yep, yep, season one. Batman Return to Arkham, which is awesome. You do get two games for one price, which is good. Bioshock The Collection. NBA 2K17 Legend Edition. We got Kobe Bryant in the front cover. Look at that right there. Mirror's Edge 2. UFC 2. Awesome, awesome game. EA, we need a freaking boxing game, man. We do have a UFC game, but now we need a boxing game. Ratchet and Clank. There you go. Still sealed. I'm definitely going to play that game. Pro Evolution 2017. Pretty good game, man. You know what? Uh, Pro Evolution is actually stepping up their game, but uh, people are still better. Destiny the Taken King. Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Pretty good. Deuce X, Minecraft Divided. Uh, kind of got boring. And here we do have all my PlayStation VR games. So, first off, we got Battlezone. Rigs. Loading Human Until Dawn? What is this? Rush of Blood. I still haven't even played all these games. Drive Club VR. PlayStation Worlds. Batman Arkham VR. And the Mission VR demo disc. Wow, man. So many freaking games. Just look at all that piles. There's more games on the bar. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. So many games. But, um, that's basically everything. So, um, there you have it. Just a quick video for you guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, stay tuned for future videos coming up soon. Like I said, it. Man, so many games. And 2017 is just the beginning because there's a lot of games coming out this year. We got, um, Horizon Zero Dawn. We also have Red Dead Redemption. What else do we have? I'm missing one. Mass Effect, another one, a huge one, a huge title. And some other games as well. There's a bunch of games coming out in 2017 that I'm actually really excited for. And we got a couple of new consoles coming out as well. We got the uh, Nintendo NX. Is it Nintendo NX? Something like that, whatever it is. But it's coming out in a few weeks. <laughs> few months but um there you have it just a quick video for you guys hopefully you enjoyed this video and that is my updated ps4 collection which is over 150 games <sighs> i don't even want to think about how much i paid for all these games how much money i invested on video games man i just love gaming that's what i am. <laughs> but hopefully you enjoyed this video please make sure to like this video please don't forget to tell us something a bunch and i'll see you guys in my next video peace